What we have here is the 101 game made by Scenario, and you can pick this up at Walgreens for $10, as you can see right here. $10. And what it, what's surprising about this, where most TV games that you buy in a store, is they don't have licensed games in them. Um, they're normally just some really bad Chinese games. But in this one here, you see right in the back, it's got Arkanoid. And uh, this one is the one I picked up from my friend Matt. And here's mine, which I have hooked up to my one of my TVs in my basement. So here, fits in the hand pretty good. It's got a tiny little on switch down here, which is uh, backwards for most switches. Starts up with this Cap uh, Pac-Man looking intro. I'm gonna do this one-handed. And uh, here you can see the games list for this. Just gonna scroll through the games here so you can see all the games. There's a lot of um, bad games on this, um, but there's some good, you know, uh, original NES games. You see Mario Brothers, Mappy, um, Pac-Man, Pinball. One of my Pinball is one of my favorite games. Um, Star Force, not so great. Um, but let's go back here. Let me bring up Pinball. I think you all recognize this game. Plays exactly the same as the original. Doesn't really much need to uh, go into this too far. Yeah. The uh, gameplay is perfect, pretty much. Okay. You know, probably one of the uh, most advanced games on here is, is Super Contra, or Super C, as it really is called in this country. You see it's got some pirate uh, start menu here. It doesn't say Contra. can't really play this with one hand, so you're going to watch me die real quickly. The D-pad on this is very mushy. Um, I think it could be easily modified with uh, maybe putting some plastic underneath it. You can see the, the, the area it goes is very large. I think it's easily fixable. But games of note, I mean, it really isn't anything particular in here that's gonna... They're mostly just the uh, non-memory mapper games. But there are a few in here that are are more advanced. But you know, you get to see. You know, here's here's a great one. You know, Donkey Kong. Nintendo, I'm sure, just loves that this thing exists. And it's obvious the company knows that this thing's a pirate because on the actual paper game list, it has crazy names for them. It's like the uh, I can't even remember what the Donkey Kong name is, but they just come up with weird spellings just to make them not say Mario Brothers or Donkey Kong. All right, well that's the end of this. You know, it's a, for ten bucks. You can't really go wrong, though. I mean, it's a fun little. You know, it's got a few good NES games in it, and uh, that's about it.